Well, hello there, Tapper people. It is I, the Lanky Lefty 27, otherwise known as Jason. Uh, I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist, otherwise known as a sleep tech. What brings us here today is to check out the N30 from ResMed. But first, let's clear off some comments. Most annoying video ever? Oh no, not again. Talk is too fast and words swallowed and talking with mask on are reasons why seniors have a lot of trouble understanding the speaker? Would you take a poll? What a goober. Oh no, that's too much. Mark, you've gone too far. I love big noses on men. That's the spirit. You're the rock star of CPAP reviews? Yes. Rock star. Rock star. Rock star. Rock star. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Show me the product. Show me the product! Okay, pretend like the intro never showed. We're gonna show you the product. Go ahead and like and subscribe. However, right now we're reviewing the N30. Now you might be confusing this with the ResMed N30i. Don't confuse the two. They're very, very different masks. If you do confuse the two, you're either a boon bab or a noob nab. Now this actually is closer, in my opinion, to the P10 mask. So more or less looks exactly like this, except for instead of this type of cushion, you have two nasal pillows right here that go into your nose. Very similar headgear, though not the same. So let's kind of dive into this and see the pros and the cons. So one thing that's really nice about this, but also kind of a downside, is a very simplistic headgear. So as far as getting this mask on and off, very easy. Just pull it on over your head. Now these head straps, you can have in any sort of configuration to try to achieve the angle that this is. So you can put them kind of together, you can pull them apart. And the nice thing is, this is all the P10 did, but this is the N30. So we have this little strap here, which actually allows us to make this slightly tighter if we need to. See how much that can go, quite a bit. So it gets to the point where it's, if you have a little head the shape of an orange, you can go ahead and fit that comfortably. Your greasy, oily, dirty, stinky, nasty mask, it's not going away on its own. Support this channel by trying MaskBrite at MaskBrite.com or Amazon. You can actually do this very easily while it's on your head too, which makes it very nice. So now I have that nice and firm. I can spread these around the crown of my head and achieve a kind of nice up, up and inward push. Now, if I feel like it's too loose, I can hold on here and pull up and make it a little more snug. I can also grab this tab and pull out and make it looser, like so. So the N30 comes in three different sizes. This happens to be a medium. There's also a small and a small wide. All sizes are available at cheapcpapsupplies.com. Go under nasal masks. Ah, this guy ain't even making any sense, Ann. What's an internet website? Oh, Gerald, you need to get with the times. And right on the first page, you'll find the N30 mask for $99. Add it to the cart, select the cushion size that you want. It's as easy as that. And now you simply edit your cart. I don't have time for these shenanigans. I wait in a long line to talk to a guy that clearly hates me and, and they give me a mask they want me to have and damn it, I like it. Try discount code LEFTY16. That gets you almost $16 off. Try CPAP20. That gets you almost $20 off. And lastly, try VIP30. That gets you almost $30 off. Look, Gerald. You have choices. Look at this website. Ah, it's all blurry. Ah, damn it, Ann, you clean my glasses with a puff. Is that better, Gerald? Now maybe you're looking for a small travel machine like the Dream Station Go. What in the Sam heck? Look at all these choices I got. The Dream Station Go, normally retailing for almost $1,000, you can get for $700 using VIP 30. It's as simple as that, people. They make it even easier. Some masks have no prescription required. You can qualify through your insurance and they have a 30 day Mask guarantee. If you don't like your mask, get back with them. They'll get you a different mask. They take their customer service very seriously. I'm telling you, Gerald, these pages go on for days. Check out cheapcpapsupplies.com forward slash lefty and see how much money you can save. In the description box below, I'm going to link a sizing template for you to use so you can figure out what would be the best size for you. And I'm also gonna provide a link to the sponsor of this video who provided the N30 mask. So if you are sizing this mask and you find that you got the wrong one, or maybe you even wanna try just a different size, see if something works better, here's what you can do. These are interchangeable. They're a pain to get on and off though. But you can just take this and pull. You can kind of see the rim right here, and that's what fits around the rim of this. I'm gonna turn off one of these lights so you can see a little better. You can see the tab right there, and you can see that lines up with this tab. You want to take this part of the mask here and wedge it underneath the blue part of the mask, and then you have to kind of work it around. So that's all it takes as far as changing the cushion. The cushions are interchangeable, so if you wanted to try uh, a, a small or a small wide, you could go ahead and do that. So as far as the headgear, if you ever want to pull it off to wash it, you just want to grab this tab here 
pull out and you'll expose that little piece here and then this all just slides right off, okay? Then it ends right there, I don't wanna pull it off. But to get it back on, you just slide it up and then you have to pull it up and around that piece. Tug on it to make sure it caught and we did, easy enough. There's really no reason why you'd ever need to remove the headgear unless you're replacing it with new stuff but it's very simple to do. Please consider using my Amazon affiliate link down in the description box below. I clicked the link and added some items that I need, like some Canadian sphagnum peat moss, cause I've grown a blueberry. I even got some replacement filters for my fridge because my family will never understand hose water. I also got some rechargeable batteries because well, I have a fetish with things that recharge, okay? And I had to get a replacement screw for my Stay Right pool filter because I discovered I have very strong forearms and I am still a thick boy. Sick it out, even white boys got the shout. Baby got back. So there's really not much to this mask. Very easy to get on. Very easy to get off. The one problem that I did notice is that when I'm laying on my side, this piece here, the plastic piece, would kind of dig into my nose and it was super uncomfortable. Now I did not notice that with what I'm comparing this to, which is the P10. Because the P10 has the pillows, which holds it out a little farther. So even when I do lay on my side, all this connecting stuff is kind of out of the way. Overall, it was very comfortable and I liked it. And I liked the fit of how this just fits into the nose. Um, but I did have some of these digging into my face at some times. Now another concern that I have with the N30 is the way that the tubing attaches to the mask. One is it's directly in front, so if I'm ever tossing and turning, it's always pulling one way or the other. So you have to manage the tubing when you roll side to side. That's not a huge deal, but what is a big deal is that you can see the attachment is it's just attached. Now this reminds me of the N30. 10, if you ever want to look up that video, the N10 attaches in the exact same way. Uh, there's no room for movement. There's not a swivel valve. There's not a quick release. So it's just stuck in there. And if you look at how delicate this is, if you were to lay on this and tear this part right here by torquing it too far to the side, you're going to get a, a tear in this. And then the entire mask is compromised. You're going to have to get a new one because you can't just replace the tubing on it. So really a swivel valve on this would make this mask a whole lot easier to use. Actually better yet, if they took this exact system here and they made this part of the N30i system, it would improve, because the N30i is not a great mask. The N30 is much better, but it could use a little tweaking. Let's go ahead and test the pressure on this now. Now the N30 overall is a really good mask. There's just a, a, a couple things I didn't really care for with it. One is the diffuser valve. I found that at eight centimeters of water pressure and below is pretty quiet, but once you go above like 10 and above, it gets really, really loud, a very loud hissing sound. May not be a deal breaker for you, but for me, I just, I just definitely noticed it and I could see that either annoying a bed partner or even annoying you. The other thing I didn't really care for was this uh, being connected directly into here without a swivel valve. It just made rolling over a little more cumbersome and I can also see this tearing and if that tears, the whole mask is compromised. I found the headgear and the adjustability of the headgear to be very good, very easy to get on, very easy to get off. So if claustrophobia is an issue for you at all and you don't wanna use like a nasal pillow mask, this might be an excellent fit for you. And then I also noticed while laying on my side, I had some problems with pinching of the headgear attachment into the side of my nose. Wasn't really a fan of that at all, but I found that it was pretty easy to adjust. I just slightly tilt my head up and it would take the pressure off. Now, if you haven't at this point, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and please check in the description box below for my Amazon affiliate link. Now, I'm an Amazon affiliate, and as an Amazon affiliate, I earn on all qualified purchases. So if you find something sweet on Amazon and you use that link below, I earn on all qualified purchases. So I appreciate you taking a look into that. If you have any comments about the N30 mask, if you've tried it and didn't like it or tried it and liked it, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, let other people know about your experience. It really helps the community out. And one last time, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, CheapCPAPSupplies.com. I'd also like to thank the Patreon supporters that I have, as well as people that do 
PayPal donations. I really appreciate all of your support. Whether you're a boon bab or a noob nab or a long time papper people, thanks for watching. Thank you to anyone watching this video, but an extra special thank you to my top level Patreon supporters. Thanks buddy to Ken Spackman, Alan Liu, Matthew Gray, Stuart Heffington, and Mona Swearingen. Thank you and thanks buddy.